I started playing basketball when I was probably in like the third grade. Um, my father played basketball when he was in school and uh, he was my first coach and he was basically a motivator and my biggest like influence to start playing basketball so I basically just wanted to be like him. Really it was the coaching staff and the players that I met when I came on my visit here that was really like the biggest deciding factor. Uh, they all made me feel like family and they welcomed me in right, uh, right away. Athletes in action, uh, they do all types of sports, not just particularly basketball. But um, it's basically like leadership skills and, and getting to know, like learning how to get to know your teammates for I mean, any sport you play. Uh, when I went, we learned a lot about how to be a leader and like before you lead, you need to learn how to follow. It was um, a weekend event. It was in uh, Xenia, uh, Ohio. I think we had players from Wisconsin, Michigan, Texas Tech, places like that. Probably my favorite one, we went to a ropes course and it was really big on trust. So you had to trust, you know, basically random people that you never met before. But in the course of two days, you felt like you know everybody for a while. But in the ropes course, you had to trust like your team and everything. One of the biggest things I learned was in order, in order to lead, you have to know who you're leading and the, like the particular group of people that you're leading. So uh, we did a lot of like personal, like getting to know each other uh, type of things. Big South Leadership Conference was really fun, and we played a lot of uh, different games. We also did a ropes course there. I guess that's a popular thing when it comes to uh, team building. Um, we had some guest speakers there too. Um, there was a guy, Timothy Alexander. He was a big influence on me while I was up there. He talked to me a lot, and I learned a lot from him while we were there. It was just cool to get around different student athletes to see like how they feel, and like especially for the different sports and seasons, like how they feel about their schools. And we were just talking like a lot about our experiences at our different schools. I learned how to basically whatever you do, do it to the fullest, like your fullest ability. So whether you're in class, you know, study as hard as you can. If you're on the court, play as hard as you can. If you're on the field, play as hard as you can. Because you never know like when you when your time's gonna be up. So basically just appreciate the time that you have playing your sport. One thing I try to do, I try to always be positive. That was a big thing, positivity spreads. So I try to always have a positive attitude in practice and even like in study hall. A lot of athletes don't like going to study hall, so I try to encourage people you know this is time like to get your homework done you know to take it to the, uh take it to, or take advantage of it i'm a social science uh, major with a uh, minor in humanities uh hopefully i can continue to play basketball a few years after i graduate but if not i like to go coach somewhere <laughs>